How to create Canva Instagram posts step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can create your posts on Instagram using Canva because Instagram can seem a bit redundant when you're always posting pictures or videos in a similar fashion. So to spice it up sometimes, we can use Canva to make our posts more interesting and a bit better to look at. So to get started, let's head on over to Canva. And once we go into Canva over here, we're going to type in the size of the post that we want to create. So over here, you're going to search for Instagram in your search bar. Once you do that, you have two options for templates for Instagram. You either have a square or a portrait. This is up to your personal preference on the dimensions to which you want to post. Sometimes you might want to post a square post. Sometimes you might want to post a portrait post. You guys can see on this particular Instagram that I have created, I uh, mostly have portrait posts. So uh, these are going to be cut off when they appear in my feed, whereas a square post is going to appear full in your feed. So for this, let's say I want to change things up and I want to create a square post. So I'm going to go into square and you will see there are a bunch of different templates that I can pick out from. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create a blank Instagram post. And once I do that, I'm going to go into elements and I'm just going to search for influencer. And I'm going to just first show you guys one picture. And let's say, or I'll just search for a girl. And I'm going to take this image. So let's say this is my image that I took and I want to, you know, post it in different ways on Instagram. So instead of just posting this image, what are the different things that we can do? First off, you're going to click on add page on the bottom. And once you click on add page on the bottom, you can click on design on the top left. You can scroll down and you will see a couple of different designs that are available. So you can actually choose one of these designs to customize and add your own photos to. But what I'm going to do is I am going to go into elements on the left and then I'll search for Instagram post like this and then go into graphics and click on see all. Now you will see a bunch of different frames available. You have this one, you also have other ones available. You can pick out the one that you like the best. There are some for free and some are available on the pro versions of Canva. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to take this frame over here because I really like it, it looks pretty nice. And what I'm gonna do here is that first off, I'm gonna take my image and then paste it over here. Once I've done that, I'm gonna expand the size of this and then click on, do a right click, and then click on align to page, middle, then click on layer, and then click on send to back. Once I've done this, I'm going to select the image and click on the transparency, and I'll make it to 32%. From here, I'm going to take this frame and I can expand it or decrease the size as I would prefer. Once I've chosen the size that I want, I'm going to paste in my image once again, and then I will resize it to fit my Instagram frame size like this. I'm just gonna resize it a little and I'm just going to place it right at the center of this frame over here. So what this does is that instead of just posting my image like this, I have a elevated, cuter version like this. Now, to make this a bit more interesting in other ways, we can also click on add page. Once we click on add page, what we're gonna do is we are going to go into designs on the left and you're going to search for photos or you're just gonna search for collages. And you will see there are a bunch of different grids available as well. There are a bunch of different stylized ways you can upload your photos. But because I am doing only one photo, I want to do something that's really cute like this. So this is a pro element, but if you want to recreate this, I'll show you guys how to recreate this. So simply go into a new blank page and then search for paper. Once you search for a paper, go into frames over here and take a really, you know, ripped up frame that looks like a paper has been torn apart. So I will take this one over here and I'll increase the size quite a bit and then I'll rotate that as well. Once I have rotated it, I'm gonna resize it so it just fits perfectly into our entire canvas like this over here. 
Once I have done that, I'm going to take some other ripped paper frames and pass them along the edges. So I'm going to take one over here and then I'm going to take another one from the top as well over here like so. And once I've done that, I'm going to go into elements and I'm going to take my photo, which is this one, and then I'm going to add it in the main central frame like so. And then you can also, if you don't like the way it fits in your frame, you can also increase or decrease the size of your frame. Now taking this, I'm going to rotate the bottom frame over here, click on my background, and then in my background, I'm going to give it a pale skin color. Then on the left, I'm going to search for a newspaper. And once you search for a newspaper, you're going to see a bunch of different newspaper type elements. So you can just take any image and you can insert that graphic, insert that photo or graphic into the sides over here like this. And then I can add some decorated elements. So I'll just search for a circle and go into shapes. And I'll search for something that looks, you know, interesting like this. And I'll search for hearts like this. And we have, you know, a lot of different cute illustrations that we can pick out from. And we're just going to copy and paste these a couple of times over here like this. And let's say I also want to add something else, like maybe a star. So I'm going to search for that and go into element. And in my graphics, I can find a bunch of cute stars as well. I'm going to take these ones and I'll change the color like so, like this. And once I've done that, I have another really cute way of taking the same image and posting it on Instagram. And this I took inspo from over here. And I can take inspo from any template. Now, another way to design Instagram posts on Canva is to really choose a trending video style. And you can easily recreate those. So you can also choose to add reels on Instagram. And you can change photos with elements, you know, add a couple of moving elements into photos and convert those into a reel. Now, a really nice way that I like to use Instagram is for collages. So you can easily build a collage like this. You can take this template and simply remove the images and add your own images over here. And then just change the text to my weekend or, you know, whatever you're posting about and just add your photos over here. There are a multitude of ways to do this and I definitely would say that once you have completed your designs you can even do a little bit of an a b test to see what your what type of posts perform better once you've done designing your posts simply click on download or directly click on Instagram and click on immediately post from mobile app or schedule posts from desktop or you can just click on download and download this as a PNG. Once you have downloaded this as a PNG, simply go into your Instagram account, then click on create on the left and then click on create new post and you can simply select your posts from your computer. We're just going to open up our zip file like this and then click on select from computer and then we're going to add our post over here like this. Click on next and that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.